Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming and we are back in Stormworks. ridiculously long time so uh we're starting over because my game was deleted and they've updated career mode like 17 million times that's a lot of rope i'm not sure why that's there uh there's lights in here that's pretty nice we got a tractor for our boat um so there's not a creative mode per se anymore like there still is creative but we're not going to be using it we have our typical survival rules and i don't remember how my controls work in this oh boy i really don't remember how my controls work as a uh yeah we'll figure it out so this is pretty much what we got to start with uh we're hopefully gonna be able to build something a bit better Um, I wonder if that disconnected the hose. Oops. There was a hose connected to that originally, and now it's not. E. That's a little rough. Okay. Well. This game, in all of its glory, as always, is uh, somewhat laggy anyway. So let's see. We have a mission. Or had a mission, I suppose. Oh my, a boat in distress has been reported somewhere in the giant red circle. There's no way to really find out where. Uh, I don't think there's research anymore. Circuit breaker's on, that means our battery is draining a little bit, so let's go ahead and kick our engine on. And we're just gonna... I guess see if we can see anything... We need to get out of this dock. Uh, there is a beacon finder. I'm not sure what it does, but I mean... So it's somewhere... in a circle around this island. I'm not sure how far my view distance is. It may be on the other side of this island. It could very likely be somewhere on the other side of this island that we're heading towards. So we're going to kick the engine up to about 96, 95, 94. 90% because it starts doing this weird aeration thing and I'm not sure why. So I don't know how to build normal boats that don't have unlimited everything. So I'm going to need y'all's help for pointers and things like that and if y'all know where I should look for tutorials on how to build things because this is going to be fun and interesting and I'm probably going to die not going to lie still trying to find this boat let's see where it didn't say how big the boat was did it that's just annoying hopefully they don't want us to tow them back to port because all we got is this little rib and Let's be honest, this guy, he ain't that fast, and he ain't that strong. He gets us point A to point B, but really all he's good for. See anything out there? Where's my... there we go. Let me zoom in with some bina... oh, so much rockiness. I guess we'll start hanging a right and going around here. This is going to be an interesting series, because they've updated career mode. I don't think there's research anymore. I think if you can afford it, you can build it. Which is going to be nice, because as you saw in the little uh, 
quick cut from the tutorial. I've got like 17 grand already saved up, so we'll be able to build a boat soon. Uh, I'm not going to do that in a video because it's a very long process. Unless maybe y'all want a boat building series too. If y'all want that, I'd be more than happy to oblige. Just gotta let me know down in the comment section or somewhere. Ooh, this water getting kind of deep. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hello, Mr. Boat. Mr. Boat in distress. Is that... Oh, that's a boat. We see it. Oh, it's in directly in front of us somewhere. Wait. Is that it? There it is. I see it. I see a boat. That's our boat. That looks like a fishing trawler. Yeah, it's definitely a fishing trawler. I'm curious as to what happened to it. I guess we're gonna find out. This game is still pretty interesting for what it is. Like, whoever designed it, mad props. It's still a bit goofy when you have a bunch of people, but, uh... Co-op is actually a lot smoother. Uh... Cuervo may join me again. Raven may join me again. Uh, unfortunately, since the game was deleted from my computer, so were all of my saved craft. So, uh, there's no more Eclipse, so Raven can't sink that at least. We got that going for us. I guess I'll have to build a new Eclipse and or large research slash rescue vessel. So, I don't know. We'll have to do that. Should be a good time. And hopefully I don't die too much in this series. I'm not even sure how the new career series works. I'm um, really not. If anybody does know, please let me know because I'm at a complete loss. Uh, they gave me this boat and said, go save things. Rescue six casualties in the ocean to a hospital. Are they in the ocean or are they on the boat? Probably start slowing down. I mean, we have room for six people on the boat. We definitely have room. Did I just tap their boat? Okay, so we can rescue six people. Where are the six people? And why do they need rescuing? Oh, no, I'm in the water. I need rescuing. Save me. Save me. Save me. There's sharks down here. It's not a place for people to be. Save me. Save me. Let me up. This is what I don't like about this game, is it's, it's kind of jumpy like that sometimes. Um, I should probably try and grab a rope here. And... Can I, oh, I was going to try and attach it to their side of their boat. Yeah, so they added ropes now, so you can tie your boats up at least. Now I can just tie it right here. Cool. Now let's see, is there a ladder for me to get onto your boat, or do I just have to hobble? Come on, I was on your boat. Let me up. Let me up, you stupid game. There we go. Okay, so we got one guy. It said six. So I assume maybe we can just throw them. Well, he landed quite securely right there. So there's two right here. We'll probably have to go inside of their boat to find the other two. Which I love. I love seeing the creator's boats. We actually have just enough room for all six people. Um, definitely some sort of deep water fishing vessel. Very nice looking. Uh, is there anybody in the... No, nobody... What in the hell? How do you expect people to get in there? Okay, well, that's not a big deal. Go around here, go around here. Connectors. Uh-oh, I don't like this at all. There's one guy in the engine room. Oh, what kind of hell is this? there anybody in here? Batteries and whatever that is. So here's three of the six. They said from the ocean, is there more people that are in the water? Oh, there is, isn't there? I see them. There's peoples in the water. We gotta locate them quick before it starts getting dark. Um, is that all three of them right there? That is all three of them. So let's disconnect our craft. And we're going to go get their three compatriots from their watery doom. Let's throttle her up and get away from... I don't know what's wrong with their boat. Is it just like out of fuel? Did it just die? Alright, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. We're going to head and kill the boat. 
And we're gonna jump off and save some people. Quick, I will carry you, and then you will follow, and you will follow. Um, no, you, and then you follow. And I assume they're both following me. Okay, let's quickly... What is that? Did I have a life ring or something fall off of my boat? And we'll put all these people in, and then we'll give them a med kit really quick. I'm glad... I'm... Yeah, i glad. I'm glad that med kits are a thing now. Uh, healing people and saving them for these missions. It's very nice. Um, where's our med kit? Let's work around these people really quick. Grab a med kit, and we're going to heal you. Heal you. You seem good. You seem good. Okay. So it seems like everybody's okay. Not sure what was wrong with their boat. Um, do I have a switch for heater? We're going to throw on our navigation lights and our spotlights because we're going to be in the water at night. And we're going to head and go back to the hospital that we were at in the tutorial, which is over here on this island. Uh, it's right over there somewhere. There's a dock by it. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to their boat. It's really cool seeing it, though. The designs for boats in this game are pretty awesome. I'm glad we had enough room for all six people. They look pretty happy. You there. Why is your boat broken? Tell me. Oh, you got an eye patch. Never mind, I don't want to screw around with you. You there. You look much less menacing with your blinding light. Why is your boat broken? No answer. Stoic types, huh? Well, it's going to be that kind of game, I guess. So we got our lights on. We turned off the beacon finder. That's for reverse. Uh, I don't see anything else for controls other than AD and WNS. So I guess that's it. Uh, RPS kind of sucks. Engine temperature's okay. Fuel's good. I'm not used to having fuel and battery limits. So, uh, like I said, if anybody here is good at building any kind of boats, let me know. Because, uh, I don't know how to do fuel tanks or anything like that just yet. So there's the boat that we had to rescue last time. Um, where's, there's the dock. So we're going to pull alongside the dock and I'll just throw them all off onto the dock and then we will run to the hospital and they'll all be saved. Perfect timing. Because that's what we do here. We save people. And we'll just nudge her against the dock. Like so. Um, hopefully it doesn't drift. Oh, I got to turn the lights off. Oh, nope. The jumping in this game is kind of, you know, funky like that. You'll just launch yourself into the air by like 20 feet and then die on something. Make sure we turn everything off. Make sure we throw the circuit breaker off. That way we don't waste our battery. And we'll just throw everybody on shore over here. Oop. Oh, nope. Or, nope. You come right here. Where's my flashlight at? I need my flashlight. There we go. So now we can just grab people and put them on shore. Oop, nope. And put you down. And put... Need an anchor. Note to self. That's our next big purchase is an anchor of some kind because boat just kind of likes to drift off. And I don't really want it to drift off on its own. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I'm in the water. Help. Help. I need help. Oh. This, oh, there's someone, they're following me in the water, these stupid people. Okay. Well, since people are following me, I might as well, uh, get them all to follow me. Can I get you all to follow me over here to where there's a ladder, at least? Can you climb ladders, is the better question. Oh, you can. That makes it really simple, actually. Uh, who's following me? You? Stop being dumb. You stop being dumb. Okay. Now that y'all are done being dumb, I'll come grab 
you can just follow me. And I'll pick you up, and we'll get them up the ladder. There's my tower over there, my nice little Coast Guard outpost. And we'll climb up here. And I can just carry this guy on my back, because I'm a beast like that. And then we're going to get the other five to follow us. And we're going to go on our merry little way up the uh, path here to the hospital, everybody. No, they're falling to their doom. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Stupid people. All right, stop following. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. And there's two down here that are just dumb, so I'll carry one, and you'll follow me. And we're going to go on a slight detour. It's not a very big one. I guess it is a big one because you don't know how to do it. So I'm going to put you right here. And you're going to stop following. And I'll grab your friend here who has managed to wedge himself. And I'll carry him. And it should just be a straight shot from here so it shouldn't be any more shenanigans. And there we go. That should be everyone. Yep, okay, I got my little my little train. I feel like I'm a freaking kindergartner teacher. You know how it is when you're in kindergarten, you got like 17 freaking students and one teacher leading the pack. What is that in the sky? What is that? What in the unloaded terrain? Did they add the moon? Did they add space into this game when I wasn't looking? Oh, please don't let anybody run off the edge there. I wasn't paying attention. Did they add space? Is that Skybox? The game is broken. It's even more broken now. They've added so much to this game, though. Now there's forest fires, there's land vehicles, there's everything. There's ropes. Oh, there's so many things, and I don't know where to start. Oh, here's the people from last time. Casualty has been successfully... What? Did all of y'all? Is it 2,000 per casualty? Like, do I have to bring you in? It's 2,000 per casualty? Oh my goodness. So much monies. Follow. 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 Why, that's 12 grand. Is that the rest of them? Is that all six? I can't tell. I can't pick them up and get them out of the way, I guess. I guess mission complete. I rescued all six, so now I gotta get back to my boat. Make sure it hasn't swam away from me. And we gotta go home. Gotta get home. Because I really... Like, that's a basic mission, and there's gonna be some many, many more extreme missions where it's like, there's a fire, go put it out, and I have a boat. How am I gonna put a forest fire out with a boat? Don't know. If one of y'all know, let me know. Because I don't know. All right, let's flip our circuit breaker on, get the helm on, start our engine up, throttle down here, make sure we don't hit anything, actually going to put it in reverse, and then throttle up, and I'm going to put all my lights on, and we're going to reverse just a little bit, and then we're going to throw reverse off and kick her to the left and we're good golden and now we're gonna head home head over there to our spotlight our green light in the night don't think I've forgotten about you unloaded texture you're somewhere out there there you are what are you I'll get a helicopter and I'll come find you Is that just supposed to be a cloud like a super shitty angular cloud that might just be a cloud. It's just in a weird position. Oh well. Let's see how we're doing. We got 100% battery, so our alternator is doing fine. Uh, we're at 91% fuel. That's not too bad. See, so that's going to get sketchy, though, when I start doing missions that are like, you have 49% fuel getting out there, and you're just like, oh, no. I'm going to have to tow my boat back. Which means I'm going to need bigger boats with a lot more fuel it's starting to get a uh, it's gonna get rough fast and I have no idea what I'm doing so I guess I'm gonna have to learn start throttling down bring her down bring her down so I don't know is my cable back 
cable's not back, so I think we've lost a cable because I had this thing tied up using a fuel hose. Some people use it that way, some people don't. I don't know. There's no way of tying it up to the dock right now. Which is kind of annoying. So uh, I just respawn it and then anchor it to a fuel hose and it'll just kind of stay attached to it. So we're going to respawn it. Video tutorials can be found. So how much money do we get now? We've got t almost 30 grand, so we can we can do some work with that at least. Let's grab this equipment hose. We're gonna attach it. Jump down here and attach it. And that's gonna act like a cheap anchor. I'm also gonna turn off the uh, circuit breaker. That way we don't run our battery down. Oh no, let me up, let me up. Let me up here, you fool! Ugh, I... Oh, I'm gonna drown. I really... Thank you. Really hate the physics of trying to get onto boats in this game. Cool. Circuit breaker's off. I don't think there's any active missions for us right now. Um, map, quite large. Up here looks like the Icelands. Get it? It's icy. It's Iceland. Uh, so we'll eventually, once we get heaters and more important stuff, we can go down there, but... Immediately around us, it looks like we have a fuel location right there, airport. We have the Creative Island over here. I wonder how much that costs to buy. I don't want the Creative Island. I want the Multiplayer Island. This one. It's got two runways and a uh, large dock on it. But that's a trip. That'd probably burn all of our fuel in our little boat just getting out there, and we probably don't got enough money for it just yet. So, I think... Oh, we've got all the different overlays for the map, too. So we have the map. You can do temperature. So down here, it gets real, real warm. We're in moderate temperature, and up here, it gets real, 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 real cold. Interesting. And then we have... Rain, which it looks like uh, we have some rain over here, some rain down here, rain up top, probably more snow. We got fog. It looks like it's not too foggy, but we got some fog rolling in. And then wind, and I guess the wind, when it hits, uh, definitely affects not just your boats, but the uh, waves and everything else around it. So that's pretty cool that they let us track that now and that the game is that in depth to that point. I guess we can sleep now and see what our next mission is going to be. Uh, but yeah, like I said, oh, I did it again. Now we won't have any hoses, will we? We've got no hoses now. What have I done? I've broken, broken the game. We've got no hoses to refuel our boat. They're not just in the water somewhere, are they? Okay. Well, we've done that. Hopefully they're just there whenever we start the game again. Because they're definitely not here anymore. Oops. Uh, I think the boat has a hose on it when we spawn it in. But as you can see, um, I'm going to save this because I have no boats. So it's going to be a boat. Why is my caps lock on? It's a boat. And its number is 1, because I can't save anything. And we save it. Oh, okay. Boat 1. Cool. So that's been saved, so we can just load it as we need to. But if you, like I said, all of my older vehicles are now gone. Uh, we've got a bunch of workshop ones that I don't really want to use. Mostly because I feel like that would be cheating. If y'all want me to use workshop vehicles, I suppose I could. Uh, a lot of them are way too large for this dock anyway. I don't have any small craft that would fit here. Super yacht, sinkable boats, bunch of stuff from before. Sam Simon, Sea Shepherd, Leviathan. A bunch of things that we can look at later, but I don't really think that I can spawn any of this in. I could spawn that in, I guess. But it says it's broken, so I, I don't know how much I would trust it. 
the description even says it's broken. Um, yeah, and I don't have any smaller research or rescue boats. So we're just going to have to build our own. Small, small boat holes. Holes, small boat holes. Touch the butt. Touch the boat. So let's go back up to our house, since we live on such a, such a nice little homey area. And I guess we're going to take a nap. Get our first day over with. It's been a, been a nice day. You can pick up the map. What? So interactive. Yes. Drop the book. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Blah, blah, blah. Wardrobe. And we can just go to sleep. See? Oh. New mission. Boat with an emergency transponder signal has been detected. Well, where's the emergency transponder? It's a big word. It's a mighty big word. So it's off in the same direction as the... Pretty similar direction that the other boat was in. So I'm going to get over there and see what the disaster is. And I'll see y'all in a few seconds. Alright guys, we're back. We're in the right area for the ship. And I believe uh, I figured out one of their problems. One, the ship's upside down. Two, I made the comment about it being... Oh, that's ungodly loud. I made the comment about them spawning in the similar area as that fishing boat. Well, it spawned with the fishing boat inside of it. So as it comes around here, you're going to see that uh, that loud banging noise is actually being caused by the fishing boat being stuck inside of it. So we're not going to be able to do this mission because... Yeah, storm works. I was curious as to how long it took assets to despawn because of something like this. So, uh, this is gonna be a failed mission regardless. I can't get on the boat to put out the fires, and I don't think I could rescue the six people. I can look in the water, maybe, and see if there's some survivors, but, uh... Yeah, those, those fires are not getting extinguished. Yeah, that's that's not happening. I can't I can't get on that boat. She's just gonna have to deal with it. So uh, I guess I can look around see if there's anybody in the water and maybe pick them up and get some money from it. But uh, go ahead and kill my engine really quick. That's a squid. I don't want to go in the water with the squids. Um, I don't see anyone in the water, which is not really a good sign, because it means they were probably all trapped inside the boat when it spawned, and, uh, that boat, well, we all know what happens to people inside of those things. Let's go ahead and say our, our piece here. For the ones we couldn't save, we will save the others. Oh, that boat's almost out of it, though. Maybe if it does, like, 17 more circles, they'll be disconnected, finally. That boat is 100% gonna sink. Look at how big that freaking hole in it is. You see, it's just taking on water now, and it's just going straight down. And then this boat is just kind of egging it on, because it's attached to it via railings. This is actually kind of funny to watch. This is Stormworks for you, though. Welcome back. Second mission in, and... Oh, um... How do I turn my heater on? Might need that eventually. I wonder... I don't see anybody on board. They're probably trapped inside, so they're... They're probably dead. That's... That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. We tried to get out here. As soon as I got out here, I noticed the fire. Zoomed in. Uh, noticed some severe lag. And then realized that the boat was halfway in the air. Because when it spawned in... Well... Yeah. She's going to the bottom. 
She's gonna spin all the way to the bottom, but she's going to the bottom. And I'm not really sure how to debug it, so uh, if anybody else knows how to do that, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below, because situations like that kind of suck. That would have been some pretty easy money to get. Now we gotta go back home for the wasted trip, so I will see everybody when we get back to the island. Those poor people. Alright guys, we're back. Unfortunately, um, yeah, couldn't save those people. And those two boats spawning into each other have made the game essentially unplayable for now. So, I'm gonna call it quits here. Thank y'all for joining me. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And as always, see you next time. Bye guys.